Hello, Stormy Squad. We're here again with my sister, and we're going to Sienna. Uh-huh. We're going to watch some Dom Man. Now, the thing about this is that you might be wondering, why has she posted it twice today? And the answer to that is, if this comes out today, the answer to that is because I'm on a posting spree. I think my least amount I'm going to post will be once a week. So on average, I think I'm going to post once a week. But for the next two weeks, it's going to try and be like once a day. But like no promises. It will be any time, um, any time, but at the least it'll be once a week. Okay. So I might have like 28 videos up one day. Okay. What do you want to watch? What Dharma? Oh, um... Hmm. Let's do the bold one. Hi, where can I get a cab? Taxi Hi, so Yes, there is a yeah. taxi stand there. Hey Faith. Still scrolling through the gram. Yep. Not much else to do when you're stuck in here all day. Well, check this out. This kid was getting evicted. So Dharmat paid his family's rent for a whole year. That's really sweet. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, did you see my post? Self-promo. No, I must have missed it. Jerry asked me to the prom. No way. He just came up to you and asked? Yeah, in front of the whole school. Oh, how cute. I'm so happy for you. Thanks. And don't worry, I already told him you're coming with us, and he's completely cool with it. I don't know, Kim. I don't think I want to go anymore. Because Jerry's going? I can tell him no, I'll just text him right now. No, it has nothing to do with that. It's just, look at me. I'm a complete disaster. Hey. You're bold, it doesn't mean you're a complete disaster. It just means you're bold. What do you think? Yeah, same. I think she has like cancer, I think, so. Yeah. Say that, you look amazing, she babe. <sighs> She could have been, yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, I'm bald for crying out loud. All That's all right. You could have, like, Everyone has hair in your armpits. No, you don't. Well, well knows where you're going, you know, like, they're all me. really supportive. Oh, I didn't. I don't have a dress. You didn't. I don't have a wig. I, I probably, probably won't even have energy to put my makeup, makeup on. on. You can oh, just borrow one of my dresses. And I'm sure we can find a hairstylist and a makeup artist. Good idea. Let me just call Kylie's glam squad over to come and help me get ready. You know I don't have any money. Listen, oh, you I really appreciate mm -hmm. you trying to help, but you should just go without me. She's an awesome Gracias. Friend. Yeah. Hey, do you remember the promise we made our freshman year? That no matter what, we go to prom together? I remember. Well, I'm gonna keep that promise. And I don't care if I have to carry you out of here myself, patient gown and all, I'm taking you to prom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kim. You're a great friend. But I cannot go looking like this. And there's no way I'd ever fit into any of your dresses. Can you ask your mom for help? She's working three jobs just to keep up with my medical bills. I feel bad even asking her to buy me a ticket. Well, there has to be someone who can help. Yeah. Let's ask Darman. What? Why would he help me? Are you kidding? You're exactly the type of person he wants to help. If we could just tell him your situation, I'm sure he'd want to do something. Okay, so how would we even get a hold of him? Last I checked, we don't have his number. Text him on Instagram. What are you doing? Just trust me. I'm gonna post this photo, explain everything in the caption, and let the internet do the rest. Yeah, right. Like, that'll ever happen. Sometimes, you just need to have a little faith. Thanks. Thank you. 
I'm so glad you got to go out today. <laughs> Just in time for prom. I already told you, I'm not going. I hate the way that I look. Actually, you won't have to worry about that anymore because <laughs> you got your own glam squad. <laughs> this is a- Oh my gosh, I know who you guys are. You guys work with so many celebrities. <laughs> and we're about to have you looking like one too. Yes, I am so excited. But how did you- I saw the post. They DM me on Instagram a couple days ago. What? This is crazy. I'll tell you more about it later, but right now we gotta get you ready. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. How's it going in there? Good. I'm just about ready, but I still have no idea what I'm going to wear. Wow. Thank you. Hey, Jerry just texted me. Meet us outside when you're ready. Okay. It's a pretty nice ride. I know. Wish I could say it was mine. <laughs> okay, Faye should be here any minute, so we have to. OMG. Well, how do I look? <laughs> like a goddess? I mean, seriously, you look like an angel has just fallen to earth. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, hey, would you mind taking a picture of us? Of course not. All right. Oh my gosh, beautiful. Amazing. Love it. Boom. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so cute. Do you want me to take a photo of the two of you? Sure, that'd be amazing. <laughs> this looks so good. Charlie's Angels. <clears throat> <laughs> Ah, you two look so cute together. Ready point, point. Point it. Flex it. Ah. I wish. Hey, what's wrong? I just wish I had a date. That's all. But I doubt anyone would want to go to prom with me. That's where you're wrong. You see? Hey, Faith. <laughs> no, Darman. What are you doing here? I'm actually here to take you to prom. Well, that is if you want to go with me. Is that even a serious question? I would love that. Amazing. Hop in. This is insane. Everyone at school is going to freak. I can't believe you made this happen. Thank you. Sometimes you just have to have a little faith. <laughs> Hey, Darman fam, so in this video, I- That's nice. I like it. I like it a lot. That's nice. Okay, let's watch this one now. What is it? Quiet guy made fun of in school. They instantly regret it, Darman. Hey, man, she just ran away. <laughs> How'd you react? Uh. <laughs> the silence says it all. You guys are so funny. <laughs> anyway, we better get going. Yeah, we'll see you guys later. Oh, oh wait, wait, Jasmine. Uh, would you want to go to the movies with me tomorrow night? Um, I'll think about it. All right. Dude. Why didn't you say anything? You made them leave. I, I didn't have much to say. But they still thought it was funny. I don't understand. Why are you always so quiet? What do you mean? Cause he is. Hmm. There's a lot of advantages to being quiet. Sure. Oh yeah? Like what? Uh... Come with me. Brittany's having a kickback at her parents' beach house on Saturday. You want to go? We can't go to that. We have football practice. It's fine. We'll tell the coach that we're looking for colleges or something over the weekend. He'll never know. You down? I mean, who's he? Behind him. I think he is anyway, telling us, oh, you need to run laps on the weekend. When I see him, I'm going to tell him that, uh, coach, uh, what are you uh, doing here? Never mind me. Go on to finish what you were saying. When you come into practice now, 
Uh, what a great coach you are. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah, sure. I heard everything. Not only are you coming to practice now, but you'll be running double laps. What? You can't give us double laps? What do you mean, us? Trevor didn't say anything. I'm only talking about you. On the field, now. Oh, I was giving you the eye. I literally we looked had right so at you. so many chances. I, I, you could have like, I was, I, I moved turning. my head. I was like, stop pointing. So you see, being quiet keeps you out of trouble. Okay, but that's one situation. There's no other perks to being quiet. Not true. I don't understand. What's the big deal about me going out with the boys tomorrow? Follow me. You don't see a problem with you spending our anniversary with your friends? That makes me feel like I'm just... You're overreacting again. I swear you always do this. I told you that on Sunday. You I... didn't let me finish. You always talk over me, and you never give me a chance to say anything. I just wish you were a better listener. Say, <sighs> if you talk a lot, <coughs> you're less... <coughs> You're a worse listener. No, not on general, just like on average. I told you that on Sunday. You I didn't. Jen, wait. Reason number two, when you're quiet, you're a good listener. <laughs> Girls appreciate a good listener. All right, so there might be two small advantages. Big deal. <laughs> There's more than that. Watch. Who can tell us the most important founding father of America? Alex. That's an easy one. George W. Bush. <laughs> Did you mean George Washington? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, I can't believe he said George Bush. Yeah, well, being quiet helps you avoid saying dumb things. Man, I can't even argue with you on that one. Hey, can we get your guys' opinion on something? Yeah, sure. What's up? Michelle and I can't agree. Who do you think is hotter, David Dobrik or Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast or David Dobrik? I don't like either of them. Mr. Beast is nicer. Is he better looking? I don't think he's better looking. But if we were to rate them on personality and looks, then Mr. Beast would win. Um. I say Mr. Beast. What? No. Oh, wait, let me look at David. Well, and I can't agree. Who do you think is hotter, David Dobrik or Mr. Beast? Yeah, Mr. Beast. Um. I say Mr. Beast. What? No. He's a gamer. Exactly. Gamers are good looking. Gamers are hot. David Dobrik turned down Madison Beer. He's way hotter than Mr. Beast. Just because he turned someone down doesn't mean he's hotter. Uh, yeah, if this is kind of an awkward question. Look, if I had to choose, I'd say Mr. Beast. Told you. <sighs> yes, Sam. Dude, why'd you leave me hanging over here? That was so uncomfortable. Yeah, well, when you're quiet, you can sneak out of awkward conversations without anybody noticing. That's another benefit. I didn't even think about that. Oh, hey, uh, don't forget to let me know about the movies. Uh, listen, about that. Yes, you wanna go? No, that's not what I was going to say. Do you wanna tell him or should I? I'm actually going to the movies with Kevin. What? With Kevin? Dude, why didn't you say anything? Don't get mad at him, he's just... Quiet. And that's what you're into? Are you kidding? Quiet guys are hot. Plus, you don't have to worry about them kissing and telling. Call me later. Wow. I guess there really are a lot of benefits to being quiet. Are you in a rock and roll at all? Yeah, I love rock. Why? Is it just me or did it feel like the quiet kid was sort of bullying him in that last shot? Like, he should have told that he'd like, I oh, know, I'm dumb.
<laughs> anyway, guys, see ya later, Anna. Get up.